Hi everyone, it's Diane and uh, this is a reading for the week of uh, the 28th of uh, March <laughs> 2016. And before I start I just want to say thank you very much for coming back to watch this video and thank you so much for your lovely, lovely comments. Um, I don't think you realise how much of a difference they make, but they really, really do. It's really nice to kind of have that um, encouragement, especially after having had a bit of a break. It's nice to know that the messages are meaningful to you and that, you know, I'm still able to connect and to share with you what is so wanting to come through me um, to you. And, um, and just to feel that I'm uh, able to be in a place where I can make an impact again is so important. There have been so many changes in my life in recent years and I tend not to talk about things um, of that nature very much. But um, I have to tell you, it's been quite tumultuous and I have missed uh, doing this so much as a part of my work. So I'm really excited about being back and really excited about sharing today's message. So. Um, the message I've got from the little book of daily guidance is, ah, okay, it's really interesting because I thought it was one and it's actually another. So the message that I thought it was, was 144, which is forgive and release. So I'm going to read both messages. So forgive and release, however hard it is to let go of the past and however dreadful the pain or betrayal you once felt, it's time to release any resentments which are now closing your heart or restricting your own growth and progress. Remember that every unforgiving thought or energy is like a burden on your energy field and an unhealthy hindrance to your powers of attraction. So, this week we really are looking forward to moving ahead with new plans, moving ahead with new ideas about who we are, about how we want to interact with the world, about how we want to be of service, how we want to present our work, our legacy, the essence of our being, how we want to present ourselves really. And so this is really a, a message that's saying, that's reminding us that however we want to present ourselves, we need to be aware that all the thoughts that we're carrying, all the thoughts that are not in light, will be coming with us on our new journey if we don't release them and let them go. And when we're trying to get into our hearts more, or allow what's trying to flow in, or allow a greater expansion that's going to help us to manifest a truer destiny, a, a lighter destiny, and to manifest, you know, all the things that we're really looking for at the moment, which are to do with feeling purposeful, making a contribution, being creative, and really, really stepping in into our true golden path of spirit, of, of walking ahead with confidence, or just increasing ourselves generally. So for some it will be increasing the sense of freedom we have in our lives, increasing the sense of mobility, increasing um, abundance, increasing our connection with others, um, our communication, our relationships, improving our relationships. So however it is that you're hoping to expand at the moment, it's important to let go of all the thoughts and feelings you have about why it hasn't worked in the past and therefore might not work in the future. Or if you're holding any resentment towards someone still, at least in the moment when you're dreaming of how you're going to move ahead, release those thoughts. Release the thoughts that are keeping you stuck in that pattern still of connecting with that lower energy. Because whenever we're thinking of someone or something or some some uh, event or or injustice from the past, we're reconnecting with that energy and we are kind of essentially bringing it back into our experience. So we want to walk on a new road, on new roads energetically, and in order to do that we have to literally make a shift in consciousness and decide that we are going to walk on those roads fully. So it's time to not just watch our thoughts in terms of watching each individual thought, because you can get a bit neurotic like that. Oh my God, I just thought something negative. What am I going to do? Cancel, cancel. It's not that. It's really about spreading your heart across the entire spectrum of experience and allowing that to overtake and be the predominant energy, the predominant guiding principle and the place where you really want to live, because we don't actually live anywhere physically. We either live in our hearts or we don't. And if we live in our hearts, we'll be taken to the right places, the right situations, the right things, the right people at 
precisely the right time, my guides are saying. I'm feeling a strong sense of Archangel Michael around, so I know that a lot of us are experiencing ascension, experiencing a huge leap ahead, and as a result of that leap ahead, being asked to make big changes in our practical, physical reality so that we can really embrace that divine essence even more strongly. So it's even more important this week as we step onto that lighter path to release the baggage of the past. Okay, so um, as we step onto that lighter path, release the baggage of the past. Walk in love, not because you are condoning the misdeeds of others, but because it feels better and will serve you better in the present moment. Dig deep, forgive and release. Surrender dark thoughts and walk into the sunshine towards a new life. By the way, it's a bit late, but happy spring, happy uh, spring equinox um, uh, for those who celebrate it or who are experiencing spring at this time of year and happy Easter for those who celebrate it. Okay, so it really is time for um, a rebirth. It's time for a new beginning and it's time for us to let go of the old so that we can embrace that new beginning. Okay, the second message, the message I actually uh, thought, well, the message that was written down was 144 and I thought it was 145. So I've read you that one. The message it actually was, which I am just going to kind of translate that into the universe's way of saying, well, actually, it's both messages. Um, follow your heart, which is a lovely uh, way of uh, moving from releasing and forgiving, moving into that heart energy a bit more. Today you might feel distracted. So this, this again corresponds to the whole week. These are actually designed to be daily messages, but we are talking about the week ahead. So today you might feel distracted by circumstances, people or practicalities. Recognize them all as outward manifestations of inner resistance and challenge them by doing what you do best. So another note on the idea of resentments and holding on to things in the past you know if you start to feel a heavy energy anywhere in your body or a feeling of being drawn down um, don't get distracted by that either don't get distracted by those old thoughts and if there are people around you who you feel or sense are trying to distract you or throw you off your path or rattle your cage or get you you know to feel wobbly about the decisions that you've just recently made just breathe come into your heart reconnect with yourself and with the place where you do feel empowered and again expand that heart energy across all of it because that person, those people, those situations, whatever they are, are really just yourself speaking back to you and reminding you that you've still got doubts, you're still not sure and so just talk to them, just be very gentle and very loving towards them within yourself, not the actual physical people. You might not want to feel that you want to deal with that. You don't have to deal with that. Deal with what's happening inside. Address what's happening inside and ask yourself, do I really feel I'm ready to let go? Is there some part of me that is resisting letting go? Is there some part of me that's resisting this lovely, bright, sunshiny, springtimey new vibe that doesn't trust that I can do it? Um, whatever happens, listen to your dreams and passions. Turn up the voice of your compelling vision and silence the voice of resistance. So you know how sometimes you get up because you're really excited, you know, you get up really early because you're really excited about something that you're going to do that day and you can't wait to get to it, you can't wait to get to the, the laptop and start writing or get to the piano and start playing or get to the person you're going to meet to discuss your new plans or whatever it is, you know, get that new recipe out. Um, well, there are times when you don't necessarily feel like that. There are times when you allow yourself to be thrown off balance and you forget why, what it is that makes you feel great, that makes you feel that sense of purpose and focus. And there are those days when you, it's really hard to get out of bed, it's really hard to feel motivated and, and on those days you might tell yourself, oh this is because this person is sending me lower energy or this person is trying to throw me or this person, you know, I had a conversation with this person last night and I know they're not for me, I know they're against me. Well, there are times when in a moment that can change because you've decided to focus instead on your compelling vision and your passions and this is what you're being asked to do. Don't buy into that energy. Don't allow it to come into your space. But don't try to push it away. Don't try to deal with it. 
Focus on what you do want. Focus on what you are doing, what you are achieving, what you are creating. It's all about creations and recreating the new self, the self that you really want to be. Focus on that. Focus on what you are and don't give any energy to what you are not anymore. Give all your energy to what you are. I feel a really strong sense of Archangel Michael kind of pushing us all ahead and really encouraging me in this message to, to get everyone to focus on where you are now and the journey that you're on, enjoying the journey, but keeping in mind that compelling vision and those passions that keep you moving forward. Yes, be practical, grounded and considerate towards others, but wherever possible, close the door, turn off the phone and follow your heart. So in other words, when you feel really strong and really solid in what you're doing, you will find a way to create those boundaries. Okay, so this week is all about being very, very clear about the roads that you've decided to walk and not only is it just not allowing yourself to be distracted, it's focusing on why what you're doing is so compelling that you cannot be distracted. You fail to be distracted. You are, you are immovable. Okay, so I'm going to pick a card now from the uh, secret language of colour. And let's see how, just lost an awful lot of those, but I'm not going to read anything into that. I'm just going to see what's on top. Take action. So, in terms of everything that we've just talked about, surrendering, releasing, following your heart, this isn't a week anymore to be thinking about what we might do, dreaming, strategizing, planning. This is a week for doing stuff. <laughs> this is a week when stuff needs to get done. So, in terms of how you move ahead and how you uh, just push those distractions aside. It's going to be by doing things, it's going to be by making calls, it's going to be getting creative and putting your creativity out into the world and not holding back anymore. It's going to be making a bold step that then gives you a sense of, okay, I did that and it seemed to work out okay and, you know, it seemed to be received quite well, so I'm going to do something else and then something else and do something else. And that might mean doing something that scares you a bit, but this is the week to do something that scares you a bit, just jump in. I'm going to pick the card from the Dolphins and Mermaids deck by Doreen Virtue um, because I find them very, very clear and I also feel that as we've just moved out of Pisces, the Pisces energy and moved into Aries, some of us who are kind of quite um, quite sensitive and watery might want to bring some of that watery energy back in so I'm going to choose one of these just to go just to round off that message and to give us a bit more of an indication of how we can surrender and release the past and move into our heart's true calling is what I'm hearing with action oh interesting okay so the card is rest <laughs> and um, it kind of makes sense because for some of us there will have been a sense of, okay, thank you, I get that, right. So for some of us there's a sense of having been pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing too hard, pushing against something, trying to make stuff happen. This is a card that says, if you know that it's time for you to surrender and release the past, to follow your heart and be fully on your path and to start taking action, you need to make sure that that action is aligned action and that you actually do less now because when we're pushing against something it seems as if we can do 101 things and not get any get anywhere it's like you're constantly running it's like you're running on the treadmill and you think you're getting somewhere but you're not actually getting anywhere you're just moving your legs and looking at pictures so this is a week to step back Take rest when you need to, and if that rest turns out to be meditation that allows you to go inside and say, well, if I just take one action this week, what would be the most powerful single action that I would take in this week? From a place of rest, from a place of deep meditation and alignment and heart expansion and coming back into my true, true essence of being. So I think all of that works really, really well this week to say, come back into your truth and allow your true self to emerge from a place of deep, deep, conscious alignment with your divine 
inner creator. Okay, that's it for this week, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this message and thank you very much for your likes and your shares especially. Thank you for your comments and thank you also for just all of the interactions. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can click on one of the links below the video or go to channelinglove.net. And I'll be back next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.